Hi there, this is Johnny Chambers from the US education team in Microsoft. And in this short demo, what I want to look at is how to create and assign a custom management role to a user in Outlook Live. The uh, scenario in this case is that the school administrator wants to give access to an individual to allow them to create and manage mail contacts on the domain. So maybe these mail contacts could be uh, parents, for example, and um, that's what they're allowed to modify, but they're not allowed to modify things like mailboxes, groups, rules, or anything like that. So Jenny is the user I'm logged in as here. She is the person who's going to get these permissions granted to her. Uh, she currently, in Exchange Control Panel, does not have any way to access the Manage My Organization um, drop-down list, it's gone for her. Uh, but once I have assigned the permissions through the custom management role, that should appear. So let's go and have a look at that. So I'm ready connected up through PowerShell here. All I'm going to do is copy and paste some of the commands in that I've prepared uh, to make this work. So let's just start doing that. Alright, so this first command is going to create a brand new management role. The role is called contact man underscore custom. You can call this whatever you like, uh, but it usually makes sense to call it something that makes sense in the future. And in this case, the parent of this custom management role is the organization management role, which of course is the management role that's assigned to Outlook Live admins. So initially, this management role is going to be the same as organization management. And then I'm going to take out the bits and pieces I don't need. Um, you can uh, take a look and see what commands are available as part of this rule. So let's just paste it in here. So you can do get management rule entry, contact man underscore custom slash star. And th what that will do is it will list through all of the different commands that are available. Let me just kick that off and you'll see them all starting to appear down here. You can also pipe that to uh, an HTML file if you prefer to read it there. And usually it's a good idea to do that because you get to see all the different commands in one place and um, through process of elimination you can work out which ones you need and which ones you don't need. So let that one continue there and then I'm going to go off and get the next command which is going to be this one. So the output of this command or the outcome of this command is going to be that it will delete all of the unnecessary commandlets that are currently part of the contact man underscore custom custom rule. Um, so I'm basically going to do a get and at the end of this pipe to uh, remove management entry. But this middle section, this middle query here is filtering out the commands that I want to keep in this case. So it's saying like um, get these, you get all the commands basically where the name does not equal get contact and does not equal get mail contact and so on. So I'm leaving in get contact, get mail contact, new mail contact, remove mail contact, set contact, set mail contact and get recipients. So those are the ones that are required to basically allow somebody to manage mail contacts. So let's hit enter on that. This one can take a little time to complete because as you can see there's quite a lot of commands to filter through. So I'll let that one do its thing for a second. And just while it's doing it, the next command I'm going to run then, so exactly the same command again as I ran two steps ago to list out the entries that are part of this contact man underscore custom. So up above here it's asking me, you know, are you sure you want to remove all this stuff? So say yes to that. Give it a few seconds. Okay, so it's completed. Let's just uh, list the entries that are now part of this custom management role. And you can see that this time it's a lot shorter of a list. 
And then the final step is to go off and assign this management role to Jenny. Again, each time you assign a management role to somebody, that assignment has to have a unique name. Um, I'm calling this one Jenny A Contact Management because uh, that's what makes sense to me. You can call it whatever you like. Uh, but again, try and make it make sense so that whenever you're listing these management role assignments at a future point, you know what you're looking at. And um, so the role I'm going to assign to Jenny is this contact man underscore custom. And then I specify the user Jenny A, which is Jenny's um, alias. Okay, so that's it assigned. Now, um, it can take some time for that to replicate. Um, sometimes it happens straight away. Sometimes you have to wait a few minutes, sometimes an hour maybe. But let me just log off. And um, there's that. I'm running on a server here, so it's prompting me with some messages. Okay, let's go back to Outlook.com. And sign in as Jenny. And let's take a look to see if this has happened yet. So click on options. Okay, so there's the drop-in list has now appeared. So she can now select my organization. Because the uh, get recipient um, commandlet is in there. She will see mailboxes and groups, but as you can see, she's got no way of controlling or doing anything with these. Um, same for groups. But as far as contacts are concerned, she gets the uh, UI and uh, she can click new and create a contact. So, I'm not going to bother with that, but that's it. Thanks for watching.